welcome, Power Peeps. What is up? <laughs> hey, it is I, Vince White, here, and I want to, uh, I come to you today to spread an important message. You have a dream. You want to create a comic. You want to create um, a mythology. That's really what you want to do. You know, our, our superheroes are mythology. They are American fantasy. They're our version of the gods, Zeus and uh, Mars and Prometheus and so forth, right? And But they, they reflect the more modern aspects of how we view these empowered people. And you want to be a part of it. And you want to affect that type of uh, mythology because that is really how the country or how people might view themselves through allegory Right, and you want to have an effect upon that so that you can have a say in this allegorical self -en envisioning of, of oneself or, or, or one's culture or the culture envisioning itself, right? And and so this is this has been your fuel, this has been your your gasoline that's got you gassed up, got you drawing those pages, writing those scripts, doing the color and the lettering, whatever, right? But the industry is set up in a way that is, it's going to defeat you. You've got the established creative blocks out there, media blocks, okay? You've got Marvel, you've got DC, you've got uh, the, the bigger ones who are, you know, like Valiant, Dark Horse, so on and so forth, Image Comics. They're set up in a way that's going to defeat you. Because for you to compete in their arena, it means you have to have the same financial umph, artistic umph, creative umph, literary umph, editorial umph, and distributive umph, right? To, and then on top of it, the and branding umph and, you know, the, the merchandise to compete. That's a lot to compete with. Where what they are actually selling are what you call loss leaders. The comic books are not what they're making their money off of. So you're trying to compete in an area that is non-profitable to begin with, right? Because you really, these guys really aren't making money off of comics, per se. Uh, it is a gateway to their other media products. So you're trying to go it alone in a venue where you're already going uphill. The Powerverse is offering a solution. The solution is this, is that we can't do it by ourselves. We have to come together. Let me put that, let me say that again. We can't do it by ourselves. We have to come together. We have to have a platform that allows us to put aside our fears, our concerns, and to move forward together to form a large enough entity that has a large enough digital footprint, media footprint, content footprint, branding footprint, that it has to be recognized. Once it's recognized, then it's that it's it becomes available for all other media platforms. Video games, movies, shirts, clothing, licensing, right? You and your four buddies producing two or three books every year and a half is not going to happen. It's not going to happen. You might be a I breakout artist. Some Marvel and DC may, may want you. Hey, this is great. They scoop you up. You have you do 12 to 13 issues of their book. And then you're kicked to the wayside, and now you are definitely going to be working for more and more independent titles and companies after that until your name is no longer valuable, and then you're gone, and you say, I used to be an artist. And you're out hustling for co commissions and sketches like everyone else. Okay, so that's the other dream, the other possible dream. <laughs> the third dream is you might be that one in a million, billion, trillion, who becomes the next uh, Robert Kirkman. You might be. 
And I know that in, in your heart, you're like, yes, me, yeah, yeah. And there's a million, million other people all across the globe thinking the exact same thing. There's a guy in Singapore right now drawing his heart out. And he's ten times better than you, five times faster, and twenty times cheaper. And he still may not be the one that breaks out. Okay? Not to pick on you, Singapore. I'm just saying. So, what's the alternative? Do a couple of independent books, get burnt out, you know, burnt about four, four, five, four or five thousand dollars, and then you know you just gotta give it up and be a fan who said, "Yeah, I used to have a comic break out your old comic that's like twenty years old." See this right here? Yeah. No, there's an alternative. The alternative is coming together. That is the power verse. That is what the power verse is. I have realized this now. And I think the independent market has realized this now for quite some time. But they have been afraid to do so because, you know, we don't want to get taken advantage of. We got ego issues. You got you know, concerns and scares, fears, right? This is why the, this is why the power verse is made in such a way that it, it, it negates all those fears. Where no strings attached. You can come, you can go, you can leave. You don't owe us anything. We're a multiverse, so you get to keep your reality. You don't have to change anything like um, McFarlane had to change his storyline because his character, Spawn, came into being because of Rob Liefeld's character, uh, Chapel, killed him. But then when they broke up and they, they, they had part of separate ways, they had to change Chapel into some female character so the Spawn could still have Chapel killed him. Right? Spoiler alert. 24 years later. So no, the fact that we're di different universes, different, a multiverse, excuse me, is the best way to say it, in one powerverse allows you to keep your cosmology, your unique circumstances intact. So if you happen to leave or want to go, you don't sacrifice anything, content-wise, story-wise, or anything. If you did a couple of crossovers with some of our characters in the past while you know while we were still on and popping, as they say, <laughs> it's just content in your storyline. Hey, yo, I remember you issue four, you did a crossover with that guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. At that time I was with Power Burst and then we broke out. And yeah, but yep, yeah, yep, yeah, you can read that issue four. That's what happened. That's it. We help you with branding, we give you support, we we try to uh you know, we, we try to help each other with editing, uh, lettering, coloring. We try to get price. Um, man, we try to reduce prices for everyone. We try to go in as a group on multiple things. There's a great amount of benefit, and there's nothing there's nothing tying you in. So, if we came together and we formed this thing, as people are starting to do you actually then have a chance. And here's the other benefit. Because we're connected, and not like Image, where it's not connected. Let's say Robert Kirkman broke out, right? And, oh, wow, Robert Kirkman, your stuff is awesome, dude. Like this Walking Dead is pretty hot, right? Well, he's not in the connected universe. So the, the, the people that have found his work to be appealing, they're then going to say, hey, Robert, what else do you have? But see, the fact that we're in a connected universe, there is some connective tissue there. So if, if there is one Powerverse title that breaks out, what is immediately going to happen to those who are looking for content to basically push forward out to the public in multiple mediums? I was going to say something else. But <laughs> they're going to say, wow, what else does the Powerverse have? Not just what else do you have. So the moment one person breaks out of the power verse, we all break out. This is street team. <laughs> this is street team knowledge right here, one on one. Okay, this, this is how it works. This is how it works. You know, um, I see. I've seen so many people start 
books and fall apart and go apart and fall away or whatever. <laughs> it, 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 it lingers as some one great hope in, the, in their history in the back of their mind. Sort of eats at them from time to time. But if you're really going to do it, this is really the only way to seriously do it. To seriously do this, this is how you do it. Because everything else that you plan on doing, that you thought was going to be your vehicle to success, to success, you can still do that in the power verse. You know, it's all creator own. So if you're going to drive forward with, I'm going to pursue this, and I'm going to make a web series, I'm going to do that. you can still do that. But you're not just resting on your own laurels. You have an entire universe that's backing you up as well. Meaning that that, that cross-pollination of readers and uh, exposure is exposing you just as well as you are exposing them. So, we, let's do this, okay? The Powerverse is your universe. We're not wealthy. We're just average Joes. We're doing it all through Kickstarter. We need the Kickstarters. Our books aren't done. <laughs> Our books aren't done waiting to deliver them to you the next day. No, we need the Kickstarters to produce the books. So when we run a Kickstarter, it's really because we are trying to produce what we think is the solution. And so far, everyone likes what, we are, what we're putting together. And we're, we're going for something that's old school, that's totally different, that hasn't been around for 20 years. And that flavor is going to transfer to every project that steps through the door. So, so come on board. Just come on board. If you're serious, come on board. Let's stop playing games. Let's support the Powerverse Kickstarters. You see a Kickstarter, throw throw five or ten dollars at it. If you can do more, throw more. It's just a pledge. It's not coming out of your wallet right then. Don't give me all the brother big when my bank account is set up. I ain't got no money. In. It doesn't take any money. They ask you for your card. Nothing comes off your card until the pledge is open. Okay. If you're telling me you can't spare a dollar and then turn around and say, well, there's no comics out there, my comic, I never get my comic out there. Well, you have the vehicle right in front of you. You have the vehicle right in front of you. So let's take the bull by the horns right now. And let's make our own destiny. Let's create new mythologies for a new generation. Check us out at thepowerverse.com. Uh, all the Facebook pages, just type in the Powerverse, you find us. And check out our current Kickstarters that are going on right now. Uh, there's two, actually. With one, it's a dual Kickstarter. You get American Dreams, and they call him Marvelous. With a sneak peek of Arresto. And American Dreams is is like a, a 1900s superhero or someone that is in uh, that comes about and he is uh, empowered with all these abilities that are represent representative of the United States itself. All right, it's, this this is the American Dream or American Dreams. It's a it has all the good, all the dark. All the dirt that goes on. All right, so it's a pretty interesting read. It has everything from Tesla uh, to Edison to Alex to Crawley, all the dark occult stuff that's happening in that time as well. Okay, they call him marvelous. It's about a San Francisco super cop, this guy with the the man of tungsten, and uh, he and this marvelous blood. We'll start a journey that is reminiscent of something like uh, Spider-Man and how he had the great rogues gallery. This guy has a great rogues gallery. Uh, it is classic comic book retelling. The book, um, we're, we're recoloring the book, relettering the book, uh, and we're going to bring it to you with uh, an upgrade of quality to this uh, title. 
And then Arresto is just awesome. Arresto is something that's uh, a part of Roosevelt Pitt's <laughs> dime. And if you don't know what dimes are, you check out check out uh, thepowerverse.com. Pick up the powers that be, and you'll start to understand how the universe is actually set up. But uh, this guy's like an a Egyptian Akubalan detect Batman um, in present day, <laughs> and he. he he is after the dark and the wicked crimes that take place in the underbelly of uh, society. So, I mean, they're, they're great books. And, and the other is P.O.M. Piece of Me. It's a superhero celebrity magazine. It talks about all the dirt and salacious uh, activities that go on in the superhero and empowered world. But it still follows the story of a, of a superhero and a superhero tale, but it, it includes all the uh, things that would exist if superheroes were real, like talk shows about them, the the rejected heroes on like a celebrity who can you dance like a superhero? <laughs> you know who what superhero is pregnant? Who's dating who? That type of stuff. And it's crazy, but it's a, it's a really good read. It's about this girl named Brittany Armstrong, the daughter of Strongman. And uh, she's just trying to make her way through being a young superhero celebrity. So check that out as well. Look, we need you. And to be honest, to make all of our dreams come true, we all need each other. The power verse is your verse. It is your verse. So come on, let's get aboard. And let's make this ship sail to the dreams and destinies that we have laid out before us. My name is Vince White. This has been a powerful minute. <laughs> Until next time, be powerful. All right, take care. Indie Alliance.